Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we dive into Stories for Work by Gabrielle Dolan. In this enlightening guide, released in 2017, Dolan delves into the transformative power of storytelling within the professional realm. She argues that a well crafted story is not just a tool for writers, but a fundamental asset for anyone in the business world aiming to convey ideas, inspire teamwork, sway clients, and achieve ambitious objectives. Dolan doesn't just extol the virtues of storytelling, she provides actionable insights on how to unearth your personal stories and adeptly weave them into a variety of business contexts. From motivating employees to sealing the deal with clients, Stories for Work offers practical advice for making your narratives resonate. Gabrielle Dolan brings to the table not just her expertise as an author of five books, including the best-selling Ignite, Real Leadership, Real Talk, Real Results, but also her extensive background in education and speaking on authentic leadership and the art of storytelling. Holding an MBA in management and leadership, her insights are backed by both theory and a wealth of real-world experience. This book is particularly suitable for anyone eager to enhance their communication prowess, explore the dynamic force of storytelling in professional settings, or those in roles that demand engaging with people on a deep level. If you're looking to propel your career forward through the power of narrative, Stories for Work is your essential playbook. Stories for Work, The Essential Guide to Business Storytelling Introduction Unlock the power of storytelling in the workplace every day. We're immersed in a sea of stories. They enchant us in novels, captivate us on radio shows, and mesmerize us on the big screen. But seldom do we link the art of storytelling with the pragmatic world of business. Yet it's time we start. Storytelling isn't just an art. It's the most genuine and effective way to connect with others. Whether it's the emotional bond it creates or the lasting impact it has on our memory, the science behind storytelling's influence is undeniable. This potent combination makes storytelling an unparalleled tool for communication within the business realm. Think about it. Have a crucial presentation coming up? Kick it off with a compelling story. Hoping to motivate your team. Share an inspiring narrative. And when it comes to clinching that deal or acing your job interview, you guessed right. Stories can be your secret weapon. The business environment is ripe with opportunities for storytelling. But it's not just about telling any story. It's about uncovering your unique tales and honing them to resonate powerfully with your audience. In this illuminating exploration, you'll learn the science that validates storytelling as an art form, draw lessons from unexpected sources like the blockbuster Titanic, and understand why opening up and showing vulnerability can elevate your storytelling, making every business interaction more impactful. Dive in to discover the transformative power of storytelling in the workplace and how leveraging this skill can set you apart in the professional world. Part 1. Revitalizing the workplace with the time-honored tradition of storytelling. Imagine sitting in yet another meeting, your eyes glazing over as slide after slide of stats and figures cascade before you. It's a scene all too familiar in the professional world, where the deluge of data often drowns engagement and creativity. Yet, There exists a timeless solution to this modern-day dilemma, storytelling. Considered one of humanity's earliest forms of communication, storytelling has played a pivotal role across centuries, breathing life into lessons and ideals from generation to generation. From the ancient Greeks with Homer's epic Odyssey to the dreamtime stories of indigenous Australian cultures, storytelling has been the heartbeat of societies, shaping morals, preserving identities, and connecting communities. But how does this age-old practice translate into the boardrooms and office spaces of today's business world? 
The answer lies in its profound ability to convey messages and ideas in a manner that is not just heard, but felt and remembered. It's about transforming the mundane into the extraordinary, making complex concepts accessible and humanizing the abstract. For businesses, this means turning the spotlight from data-heavy presentations to narratives that resonate on a personal level. A shining example of storytelling's potential in a corporate context is Australia Post's innovative approach to embedding new company values within its workforce. Faced with the challenge of adapting to the digital age and a decline in traditional mail, Australia Post initiated the Grapevine, a two-day event that encouraged employees to share personal stories related to the company's revised values. The results were nothing short of remarkable. The sense of unity and understanding that emerged from the grapevine saw confidence in articulating Australia Post's shared values soar from 50 to 97 percent. This striking increase highlights not just the adaptability of storytelling to various contexts, but its unmatched efficacy in fostering a connected and engaged organizational culture. In essence, storytelling isn't just for campfires and children's bedtime routines. Its application in business is not only relevant, but vital in today's fast-paced, data-driven environment. Through the art of narrative, companies can inspire, educate, and unite their workforce in ways numbers alone cannot achieve. Part 2. Unveiling the Science Behind Storytelling's Emotional Impact There's an undeniable allure in the way stories captivate us. Whether they're shared around a campfire, read at a child's bedtime, or presented in a corporate meeting room. While it might seem like there's a touch of magic at play, the reality is, it's all rooted in science. The power of storytelling lies in its ability to evoke profound emotional responses. As beings inherently driven by emotion, humans are primed to be moved by narratives. But what's the science behind this emotional awakening through storytelling? Renowned author and science journalist Daniel Goleman points to the neocortex, the brain sector tasked with higher-order thinking, as a key player. This brain region intricately links to our emotional centers, creating a dynamic interplay that stories uniquely activate. When we hear a story, our brain not only processes the words and their logical associations, but also intertwines these with emotions and sensory experiences crafting an immersive mental image. Neuroeconomist Paul Zak further unmasks the science of storytelling by noting the role of oxytocin. Often dubbed the trust hormone, oxytocin floods our system during story-driven engagements, much like it does when we share a hug or a handshake, signaling safety and fostering connection. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Another layer to storytelling's efficacy is its power to influence decision-making. Contrary to the belief that logic rules our choices, it's actually emotion that primarily guides us. Consider the sales context, where the push to convince often relies on logical arguments detailing a product's benefits. Despite this, our decisions usually stem from emotional responses, which we later justify through reasoning. This dynamic underscores why storytelling, with its emotional resonance, can be more persuasive than mere factual recounting. Supporting this concept, research, analyzing over 1,400 marketing campaigns, revealed that those grounded in emotion were significantly more effective, nearly double cope, than those relying solely on logic. These insights unravel the scientific tapestry behind why stories wield such incredible power over our emotions and decision-making processes. Yet, the term stories encompasses a wide array, prompting questions about the mechanisms of storytelling and its varied forms. Let's delve deeper into the anatomy of stories and explore the different narratives that touch and transform us. Part 3. Navigating the Emotional Landscape of Business Through Tragedies and Triumphs The cinematic journeys of Titanic and The Wizard of Oz evoke fundamentally distinct emotions in their audiences illustrating the essence of two storytelling archetypes, tragedies and triumphs. These narrative forms, each powerful in its own right, 
find surprisingly fertile ground in the realm of business communication. Consider the archetype of tragedy, characterized not only by grand disasters, but also by the more nuanced personal setbacks and missteps that come with regret. Such stories are not confined to the realm of cinema. They play a vital role in business narratives as well. Take, for instance, the anecdote shared by Scott Mansell, a regional HR manager at Australia Post. His personal story involving a biking accident with his wife serves to vividly underline the importance of clear communication and safety in the workplace. Just as Mansell's wife misunderstood his directions, leading to a mishap, employees might also misinterpret safety instructions unless they are explicitly clarified. Within this tragic framework, Mansell eloquently conveyed the critical message that workplace safety is everyone's business, demonstrating a profound understanding that assumptions about knowledge and awareness can indeed be hazardous. On the flip side, narratives of triumph celebrate overcoming obstacles and achieving success. Such tales don't solely laud personal victories, but also shine a light on instances where one contributes to the success of others or even the collective good. A compelling example of this can be found in the experiences of Bupa, a healthcare company undergoing significant expansion. Amidst the challenge of integrating a substantially increased workforce and establishing a unified company culture, Bupa turned to storytelling. During a pivotal company event, John Rizzo, the head of strategy, shared an inspiring tale of perseverance and success featuring his mother's unwavering dedication to supporting disabled children. Her tireless efforts to create a sensory room culminated in a triumph of passion and selflessness, virtues that Bupa sought to embed as core values within its expanding team. These story archetypes, with their respective emotional resonances of sorrow and joy, offer powerful tools for business communicators. Tragedies provide cautionary tales that highlight the consequences of oversight or misunderstanding, fostering a culture of attentiveness and responsibility. Triumphs, meanwhile, inspire and motivate, showcasing the heights attainable through dedication and collective effort. Mastering the narratives of both tragedy and triumph allows business leaders to navigate the emotional landscape of the workplace, connecting with their audience on a deeply human level and driving home messages with lasting impact. Part 4. The Quiet Impact of Tension and Transition in Storytelling In the vast and varied landscape of storytelling, tension and transition tales might not command immediate attention, like their more dramatic counterparts, tragedies and triumphs. Yet, just as every member of a family brings a unique essence to the table, these understated narratives hold a crucial place in the art of business communication. Tension stories delve into the realms of conflict and friction, often highlighting personal challenges that put one's values or behaviours under the microscope. A prime example of this narrative type is illustrated by Jonathan Snelling, a senior product manager who, during a family road trip in New Zealand, encountered a flat tyre. His adamant refusal of assistance from passers-by, driven by pride, led to a moment of introspection after his young son questioned his actions. Sharing this experience with colleagues wasn't easy for Snelling, yet it provided a powerful lesson in humility and the importance of being open to the perspectives of others. On another note, transition stories paint the journey through significant life changes, showcasing qualities like courage, adaptability, and resilience. These stories are distinguished by their focus on pivotal transformations, whether personal or professional, rather than mundane day-to-day occurrences. The emotional core of these narratives, be it the thrill of new beginnings or the anxiety of the unknown, adds depth and relatability to the storyteller's journey. Rose McCarthy's story serves as a testament to the power of transition narratives. Moving to Ireland and stepping into the unknown professional territory of a medical receptionist role without relevant experience, McCarthy faced skepticism during her job interview. By weaving her immigration experience into a narrative that highlighted her determination and adaptability, she demonstrated her capacity to thrive in unfamiliar situations, 
her story resonated, ultimately securing her the job and affirming the value of transition tales in exemplifying perseverance and strength. Together, tension and transition stories enrich the storytelling toolkit for anyone in the business sphere. Where tension narratives encourage vulnerability and learning from conflicts, transition tales inspire with their depiction of growth and change. Their quieter presence might not initially grab the spotlight, but their potential to connect, teach, and inspire on a profound level is unmistakable. By mastering these narrative types, professionals can wield the subtle yet significant power of storytelling to navigate the complexities of the workplace and beyond. Part 5. Unearthing Your Personal Story Archives, an Expedition into Memory Navigating the depths of our memories to uncover personal stories might seem daunting, akin to searching for hidden treasures beneath the ocean's vast expanse. Yet, the most profound and authentic narratives often lie not within the extraordinary, but in the simplicity of everyday moments we overlook. Consider Peter Cook, a teacher who for years was fixated on the perfection of his sideburns, an obsession that found him frequently adjusting mere millimeters to achieve balance. However, a realization dawned upon him that not once had he noticed anyone's sideburns being uneven. Perhaps no one had noticed his either. This led to a profound insight. Sometimes our fixation on minor inconveniences blinds us to our true priorities and goals. Through this simple, personal story, Peter shares a lesson in perspective and letting go of trivial worries. But how does one begin the quest for such stories? The secret lies in embracing the ordinary and setting up a structured search strategy. For work-related narratives, sketch a table as your map. Think of it as charting the territories of your professional journey. Label the first row job and dedicate columns to list your roles. Below, categorize rows by story types, triumph, tragedy, tension, and transition. By reflecting on each job with these categories in mind, you'll discover diverse tales that resonate with each archetype. For personal tales outside the workplace, Invert the table setup to begin with significant experiences. Label five columns as experience, triumph, tension, tragedy, and transition. Fill the experiences in and then sift through these memories, assigning a tick to the type of story each memory embodies. This methodical exploration of your past job roles and life experiences serves as a powerful tool to uncover hidden gems of narratives. These stories, once surfaced, not only enrich your storytelling repertoire, but also offer insights and lessons drawn from the mundane to the momentous events of your life. They're a testament to the richness of human experience, waiting just beneath the surface of our conscious memory to be rediscovered and shared. By engaging in this exploratory process, you'll find that the seemingly monotonous tapestry of daily life is, in fact, interwoven with stories of profound wisdom, humor, and humanity. Congratulations. You've unlocked a treasure chest of stories, each with the potential to connect, teach, and inspire. Part 6. A Timeless Blueprint for Powerful Storytelling, Aristotle's Three-Act Structure In the quest for crafting compelling narratives, it's easy to overlook the wisdom of the past in favor of modern techniques. Yet, Aristotle's ancient blueprint for storytelling, comprising a beginning, middle, and end, remains an unmatched guide for structuring narratives that resonate deeply with audiences. The journey of a well-told story begins at its start, which must immediately grip the listener. This stage isn't about delving into elaborate backstories or inundating your audience with every detail. Instead, the focus should be on setting the scene succinctly, providing just enough context to ground your listeners in the narrative world you're creating. Establishing the when and where right off the bat acts like a teleportation device, whisking your audience away to the heart of the action. As we venture into the story's middle, we find ourselves in its rich, detailed core. Here lies the temptation to veer off course with excessive information. However, restraint is crucial. 
every element introduced should serve the larger narrative, contributing to a cohesive and compelling story. Remember, the goal is to foster an emotional connection, not a clinical recounting of events. Personalizing your characters, for instance, transforms them from abstract concepts to beings your audience can empathize with and care about. The conclusion of the story, while the last part, is far from the least. An artful ending is segmented into three distinct phases, the bridge, the link, and the pause. The bridge serves as a segue, guiding your audience's focus from the narrative back to the central message or theme you wish to underscore. This transition is gentle but intentional, often introduced with reflective statements that signal a shift in focus. Following the bridge, the link crystallizes the essence of why the story was shared. It's the moral of the story, tailored to inspire, provoke thought, or spur action. Whether it's a call to collective ambition or a lesson gleaned from the narrative, the link should leave your audience with something valuable to ponder. Lastly, the pause. An often underutilized but incredibly potent tool in storytelling. After delivering the link, allowing a moment of silence gives your audience space to internalize the message, amplifying its impact. This deliberate quietude is the bow that ties the entire narrative package together, ensuring the story's essence lingers long after the words have ceased. By adhering to Aristotle's timeless structure, Storytellers can navigate the intricate process of narrative construction, ensuring their tales not only reach the ears of their audience, but also resonate within their hearts and minds. Part 7. Carving out the essence of compelling storytelling. Mastering the art of storytelling is akin to learning an intricate dance. Once you've understood the moves, finding, categorizing, and structuring narratives, the final touch is refining your content to ensure your stories resonate deeply and authentically. To achieve this, four pivotal principles should guide your storytelling choreography. First, brevity is golden. We've touched on the importance of succinct beginnings, but this principle extends to the entire narrative. A story, especially in a business context, should unfold within one to two minutes. An overly long tale risks losing its punch and Subsequently, your audience's attention. Following closely is the principle of embracing vulnerability. Vulnerability acts as a bridge, connecting the storyteller to the audience through shared human experiences. This emotional openness is particularly crucial during triumph stories, preventing any semblance of arrogance and fostering a deeper connection. Brené Brown's TEDx talk on vulnerability stands as a testament to the power of openly sharing one's fears and weaknesses, catapulting it to one of the most viewed TED Talks ever. Humor, the third principle, can be a double-edged sword. Its proper use can endear you to your audience, injecting life and relatability into your narrative. However, mishandling humor, especially when it strays into sensitive territories like racism, sexism, or politically charged topics, can alienate listeners. Like wielding a chainsaw, handle humor with care, ensuring it adds value rather than detracts from your message. The final, and arguably the most crucial principle, is practice. Despite appearances, captivating speakers are not born, but shaped through relentless rehearsal. Practice transforms raw narrative material into a polished gem, helping you find the perfect tempo, iron out inconsistencies, and fine-tune every element of your story. A well-practiced story not only boosts your confidence, but also ensures your delivery feels natural and engaging. A practical tip for refining your stories is to write them down in the way you intend to tell them. Then reiterate aloud. This technique helps identify and smooth out any awkward phrases ensuring your story flows as naturally as a conversation. Incorporating these four principles into your storytelling endeavors will not only sharpen your skills, but also unlock the true power of narratives in connecting, inspiring, and moving your audience. Remember, great storytelling is not just about what you tell, but how you tell it. Part 8. Unlocking the Storytelling Vault in Business Communications 
Imagine you've just unearthed a treasure chest brimming with jewels of stories waiting to be shared. The question isn't what treasures lie within, but where and when to distribute these gems in the vast empire of business. The possibilities are numerous, with each scenario demanding its unique approach. Consider the urgency of capturing your audience's attention from the get-go, particularly in settings with fleeting windows of opportunity, such as presentations or sales encounters. The immediate introduction of a story can be the golden key that unlocks engagement, offering a warm alternative to the cold beginnings of bar charts and bullet points. It's within these critical initial moments that your story can anchor the audience's interest, saving them from the siren call of their digital devices. Sales, a realm built on the foundation of trust and personal connection, particularly benefits from the early integration of storytelling. Instead of diving straight into the transactional, a story weaves a thread of commonality and understanding, setting the tone for a relationship rather than merely a business exchange. Yet, the versatility of storytelling extends far beyond openings and sales pitches. Imagine it as the Swiss army knife in your communication toolkit, useful in myriad situations with an array of tools at your disposal. Take, for example, the embodiment of company values. In an ideal world, these values are not mere decorations on office walls, but are ingrained in the very fabric of the organization. Transforming values from abstract concepts into lived experiences can be achieved through the strategic use of stories, specifically leveraging the company's grapevine. This informal network, often a conduit for negativity, can be rerouted to share positive narratives that exemplify and reinforce desired values, thereby fostering a culture aligned with the company's ethos. Furthermore, stories serve as architects of your personal brand. In the corporate mosaic, your personal brand is a unique blend of your actions, beliefs, and the way you articulate them. The stories circulated in your absence, whether in whispers along the grapevine or in more formal settings, mold perceptions of you. In recognizing this, You grasp the reins of your narrative, sculpting your personal brand through the stories you choose to share, ensuring they echo the essence of your professional identity. In conclusion, stories in business are not just tools of entertainment or distraction. They are keys, keys that unlock engagement, build trust, cement values, and sculpt personal brands. With this storytelling treasure chest at your disposal, Every narrative you choose to share opens doors to new connections, understandings, and possibilities in the world of business. Part 9. Flexibility and Adaptation. The Wings of Effective Storytelling. Picture yourself aboard a plane, riding through the skies when suddenly turbulence hits. You peer out the window and notice the wings flexing in the tempest. It strikes you. The ability of the wings to bend, not break, under stress is what keeps the plane aloft. This resilience and flexibility serve as a perfect metaphor for molding stories to fit diverse scenarios in the world of business storytelling. The trap many fall into is the comfort of relying on a few polished tales, wielding them like a magic wand in every situation. But imagine the audience's fatigue upon hearing the same yarn spun for the umpteenth time, their minds echoing, Not this again. That scenario underlines the importance of having an arsenal of diverse stories ready to be tailored and adapted to various contexts and audiences. Continuously refreshing your story repertoire ensures you remain relevant and engaging. An anecdote highlighting this point emerged when the author experienced an unexpected act of customer service excellence during a hair salon visit, juggling two hair dryers, her stylist demonstrated resourcefulness and commitment to customer satisfaction, providing a fresh narrative for the author to share about unparalleled service. Pivoting in storytelling also necessitates a keen awareness of your medium and context. While the spoken word provides a dynamic platform for storytelling, written channels like newsletters or blogs offer alternative avenues for expressing narratives. Writing allows for a different tone, perhaps more formal, and affords the opportunity to craft your message without the burden of repetition that oral stories might suffer. It's an especially inviting option 
for those still warming to the idea of public speaking. Context, too, demands consideration. Paul Quickenden, CEO of Putty, leveraged a personal experience of rescuing his children from a riptide to discuss the rapid pace of change in business. While this narrative might not inspire confidence in a product directly, it's exceptionally potent when the aim is to encourage vigilance and adaptability among team members. The lesson here is clear. Like the airplane wings riding through turbulence, the power of storytelling lies in its ability to be flexible and adaptable. By ensuring your story bank is diverse, and by carefully selecting the right tale for the right audience, medium, and context, you elevate your storytelling from mere narration to a pivotal tool in business communication. This adaptability not only keeps your narratives fresh and impactful, but also enables you to navigate the constantly shifting dynamics of the professional world with ease and confidence. Final Summary At the heart of these insights lies the timeless craft of storytelling, an essential skill that stands out in the contemporary business landscape, often dominated by dry data and uninspiring presentations. Embracing the ancient narrative forms of tragedy, triumph, tension, and transition allows for the creation of genuine emotional connections, transforming the way we communicate within professional settings. Whether it's captivating an audience during a presentation, building trust in sales, fostering team motivation, or embodying corporate values, storytelling emerges as a powerful conduit for conveying messages that resonate. By crafting narratives that align with these four archetypal story types, you can elevate business communication, ensuring your stories not only capture attention, but also inspire action and instill lasting impressions. Mastering storytelling in the business context transcends merely sharing information. It's about weaving narratives that engage, enlighten, and entertain, bridging the gap between the speaker and the listener in a meaningful and memorable way. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then. Happy reading and happy listening.